So with dispositional notation, we can write down any numerical amount that we want to in any base we want to work with. So by bundling, we found that the number of cubes shown can be expressed in base 4 as one big thing, two medium, three small, or because this is in dispositional notation, because we're explicitly showing what those units are, then it doesn't really matter what order we list them. We could say there's two medium, one large, three small, or three small, two medium, one large. And this has a number of advantages. One, we don't have to worry about the order that we write things down. All three of these say we have one large, two medium, three small, and it's very clear what this means. The disadvantage is that we have to retain these unit symbols. We have to write them down every single time. And so we might ask, is there a more compact way we could write this? And so this leads us to positional notation. So the number of boxes we had in base 4 was, well, let's pick one of these. We'll say it's 3 small, 2 medium, 1 large. And the thing to remember Arithmetic is bookkeeping, and we want to keep track of how many of which type of units. So how can we do this in positional form? Well, this is going to take a little bit of organization. And so, first of all, we want to put down the units in order of decreasing size, largest down to smallest. Now, if we were writing our number in dispositional notation, we would then just use our abstract symbols to indicate how many of each type of unit. So of this large thing, we have 1. Of this medium, we have 2. Of this small thing, we have 3. And so at this point, our positional form is really nothing more than our dispositional form just set down in an organized fashion. What takes us to the positional form is two steps. First of all, we're going to drop these unit designations and leave only the abstract symbols. So those unit designations, large, medium, small, they're gone. And now I just have the symbols 1, 2, 3. Now, the problem is that, again, arithmetic is bookkeeping. We want to keep track of how many of which type of unit. When those units were present, we had an idea of how big each of the units were. When they're gone, we need to remind ourselves of how big those units were. And the key here is that we were working in base 4, and so that 4 of each unit made 1 of the next larger unit. Since arithmetic is bookkeeping, we want to make note of the fact that we were working in base 4, and to do that, we'll add in at the very end and subscripted a spelled out number 4. And so this tells us that we have 1, 2, 3, base 4, and we can read this 1 large, 2 medium, 3 small at a base of 4. Now, one final note, it is very, very, very important to remember how you speak influences how you think. You should read this as 1, 2, 3, base 4, because this reminds you we have 1 of something, 2 of something, 3 of something. And we can fill it in later. We have 3 small, 2 medium, 1 large. If you read this as 1, 2, 3, Three base 4, you'll be reminded of that fact and you'll think about this number correctly. Avoid the temptation to read this as something like 123 base 4 because that means something completely different that has nothing to do with what we have here. You should read this as 1, 2, 3 base 4, 1 of something, 2 of something, 3 of something. All right, so let's take a look. So here we have a number of objects, and let's see if we can express the number of objects in base 3. And so since we're working in base 3, we can begin by bundling sets of 3. So here's a set. We'll bundle it. Here's another set. And we don't have any more things that we can bundle together as a set of 3, so we can write down our positional form. Now, as a transition, we might want to start with our dispositional form. So we'll write down our units in decreasing size order. So we have the medium-sized unit. We have the small unit. 
We want to record the number of each type. I have two of these mediums and one of these smalls. Now to get to the positional form, we'll drop those unit designations and then we'll remind ourselves that we're working in base 3. So we'll write down 3 there. And there's our number in base 3. Now let's see if we can do something with a larger set. So here's a larger set. and Let's go ahead and express the amount in base 3 again. So as before, since we're working in base 3, we'll begin by bundling sets of 3 objects. So here's a set of 3, another 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 set of 3, and yeah, I now have these three things, I can bundle them into a single object. Again, still working base 3, so I can take these three things and bundle them into a single object. And now I'm done, I can't bundle anything else. So I'll write down our units in decreasing size. I have this big thing, I have this small thing. I'll write down the number of each type. I have two big, one small. I'll drop the unit symbols, and then I'll put a reminder that we're working in base 3. And remember, arithmetic is bookkeeping, but there's a problem. It is very bad bookkeeping to write two different numbers in the same way. We wrote this set also as 2, 1, base 3, and yet these two sets have very different amounts in them. So there's something going on that we have to fix. And this comes down to the importance of nothing. To avoid the problem of expressing different amounts using the same written form, we have to write down all the units, even if none of that unit is actually present. So for this amount, which we wrote as 2 large, 1 small, there is an intermediate unit that we didn't have any of, but we should, if we're going to write our number in positional form, include that intermediate unit. So we'll include the intermediate unit, we'll write down the amounts, we have 2 large, 0 medium, and 1 small. We'll drop the unit designations and write the number spelled out. And so there's our number here, there's 201 base 3 things there. Well, let's uh, try to work in base 4. So we have a number of objects. We want to express the number as a number in base 4. Because we're working in base 4, we want to look for sets of 4 objects to bundle. So let's see. Here's a set. Here's another set. Here's another set of 4. And another set of 4. Oh. And look, I have one, two, three, I have four objects here. I can bundle these into a single set. So I'll write down the units, one big thing. Uh, now there are two smaller units that we actually used, medium and small, so we do have to indicate those. And arithmetic is bookkeeping. We're going to write down how many of each type of unit. So I have one big, zero medium, and 0 small. And I'll write in positional form by dropping the unit designations and reminding ourselves that we're working as a number in base 4. And again, it is very, 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 very important to read this not as 100 base 4, but this is 1, 0, 0 base 4. There's 1 of something, 0 of something, and 0 of something else.